Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can create this kind of animations in Adobe After Effects using Element 3D plugin easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So now let's start this by creating a new composition. So click on this new composition, come to this preset options. Here I will be selecting this HD1080 which is a full HD resolution with a frame rate of 30 and duration of 15 seconds. Hit OK. So now let's import our logo onto this project panel. So further right click on this project panel, import, select the file or else you can directly drag and drop your logo onto this project panel. So here I got Batman logo in PNG format. So let me select that and drop it onto this timeline. So here I got that logo. It is not visible because the background is also black. So in order to make this logo visible, I will add fill effect. This is not necessary just to show you the logo. So now you can see we got the logo here. So now select this logo layer, come to this layer options, auto trace and make sure to apply this to a new layer and channel set it to alpha and hit OK. So here we got a new layer created with the name auto trace. So now let's select this below logo layer. Let me hide that. And now let's come to this project once again. So now let's create a solid layer for element 3D. So go to this layer options, new create a solid. Let me rename this as element, make it of comp size and hit OK. So now come to this effects and presets panel. If you're not finding this panel here, go to this window and enable this effects and presets and look for element. So select this element and drop it onto this element layer. So now let me hide out this auto tracer layer also. So select the element layer, come to this custom layers option, custom text and mask and in path layer one select the auto tracer layer. So I have selected the auto tracer layer. So now click on the scene setup. So here we got a new window open to work in element ready. So now if I click on this extrude button, we will get our logo here. Nice. So now let me hit on this OK button. Here you can see we got that logo in 3D. So in order to view this in 3D space, we need to create a camera layer. So go to this layer options, new create camera and preset, let it be 35mm and hit OK. So now select this camera tool and if I move this, you can see we are able to see our logo in 3D space. Nice. So now let's see how we can add a circle around the logo and add text onto the circle here. So let me hide out this camera layer for time being. Let me add this element also. So now let's come to this project once again. So first of all, let's create the circle. So for that, I will be using shape layer. So go to this layer options, new, select the shape layer. So after that, select this rectangle tool, long press and select this ellipse tool. And if you got color here, click on this fill and select this none option. We don't want fill. We want only stroke. So now hold shift and alt and dry circle here. And after that hold control key and now we can increase the scaling here like this. Okay. So now let me increase the stroke value to like 86. So this is fine. So here we got the shape layer. So in order to use this shape in element 3D, first we need to convert this into mask. So again, select this layer, go to this layer options and auto trace and now click on this OK button. So now you can see we got that auto tracer layer so i will rename this to circle and we don't want the shape layer now so let me delete that one nice so now let me select this element layer once again come to this effects control custom text and mask and in path layer 2 let me select the circle here okay so in path layer 1 we got batman logo in path layer 2 we got the circle so now let's add text here in bend format so for that let's go to this layer once again new create text so let me add a text here so i will add a random text so here we got the text so now let's see how we can bend this text so for that make sure we have selected a text layer now select this circle or ellipse tool now hold shift and alt and draw a circle and then hold control key and get a mask here like this okay so we have created a mask for the text layer. So let me change this to none. So now come to this text options, path options. Here path we need to select the mask on. 
so now we can say we got our text here so we need to reverse the path so click on this on so it will be reversed move the first margin here like this so let it be here okay fine so we got this text here so now let's create another text which comes at this place at the below portion of the circle so again go to this layer options new created text now let me add text once again we got this second text also so again for this make sure we have selected the text layer select this ellipse or circle tool now hold shift and alt now draw circle and then hold ctrl key and increase the mask here like this so that it fits the inner circumference of the circle so let me move this here like this so now let me change this mask to none and now come to this text options path options and in path select the mask one so here we got our another text also so now let's select this first and let me get the text here like this and now let me increase the scaling so that it fits onto this surface so press s on the keyboard and let me increase this here and let me place the text okay so here you can see we got the text also so now if you want to increase the scaling of this we can do that so press s and let me increase the scaling here a bit so that it matches with the text here so now we got our text also so now select the element layer again come to this custom text and mask and in path layer one let me select this second text and in path layer four let me select this please do not light text okay so in path layer one we got batman logo in path layer two we got the circle and in path layer three we got this text if you are justice and in path layer four we got this please do not like text nice so now we can hide out all these layers we don't want anything now so now select the element layer click on the scene setup so here we already got this batman so now right click and let me rename this as batman now right click duplicate this model now select this below model and in custom path change it to custom path 2 so we got the circle so let me rename this as circle and now again duplicate this circle select this below one and change this custom path to 3 so now we got this text so i will rename this as text 1 now again duplicate this select this below one and change this custom path to 4 so now we got this another text so i will rename this as text 2 nice so now let's arrange this here so select this text 1 let me first move to front view and let me place the text here like this before that let me apply material so come to this physical let me apply this chrome and for this also let me apply the chrome okay so let me place this text here select this second text and place it here and let me move this aside press e and now we can rotate the text here or else we can directly rotate the text here here we got this orientation option we can rotate this text here so i think i need to increase the scaling a bit so let me increase the scaling or else let me decrease the scaling so let me place this here press e on the keyboard and let me rotate this so I think this is fine press W and let me place this here a bit fine. so now let me select this circle or else let me select this Batman logo and let me reduce the scaling of this only and let me place this here go to this perspective so now let me select the circle and let me increase the extrusion value so you can increase the extrusion value by pressing R on the keyboard select this z axis and increase the z axis value here like this and now let me select this text one and let me press w on the keyboard and place it here here we are getting this text only in this side so we want the text to appear in this side also back side also so for that let me select this text one right click duplicate that one 
press E or else let me rotate this here only so I will rotate this like 180 and press W and let me move this here here like this okay so now here we got this text also front and back so let me place this here okay nice so now select this text to right click duplicate and select this below one and let me rotate this also so 180 and let me place this here so now we got our text front and back nice so now let's apply material for this circle and this logo also so let me first select the circle and i will use a metal surface for that so select this pro shaders to metal and let me apply this branch so let me drag and drop it so here we got the branch so let me select this material and let me increase the normal bump value so i'll increase the normal bump a bit so I think this is fine. So now let me select this Batman logo and let me apply this gold one. And for this also, let me select this material and let me apply bump a bit. Okay. So here you can see we got the bump value. Nice. So now select this Batman logo. All these are in group one. So select this Batman logo and drag it out of this group one and change it to group two. So in group 2 we got the batman logo rest of all the models are in group 1 nice so now let's change the environment so come to this environment tab and click on this and let me select the environment from this backlight environment here is that let me select this environment and open so now we will get that environment so now let's create a ground plane so go to this create select the plane and let me increase the scaling here like 2000 and let me place this below to this here so I think this much is fine and let me apply material for this also so let me use this metal from pro shaders 2 only I will add let me add this material and let me come to this UV options and let me change the UV repeat to 5 and 5. So, okay. So now let's see how we can get reflections of this model on the plane. So for that, select the plane model. Click on this reflect mode and change it to mirror surface. So now you can see we got the reflections of this model on the plane. Nice. So now click on this OK button. So now enable this element layer once again. So here you can see we got our all models here. So now let's rotate this circle first. So it is in group one. So come to this group one. Come to this particle look. Particle rotation. Be on the first frame now. Add a keyframe for this Y rotation and move to the last frame. And let me change this Y rotation value to minus five. So now if I play this. Here the plane is also rotating so we don't want this plane to rotate so now again go to the scene setup select this plane and bring it out of this group and change it to group 3 okay so in group 1 we got the circle in group 2 we got the batman in group 3 we got the plane nice so now after changing that to group 3 if I play this you can see we are getting only the circle rotated nice so now let's rotate this batman logo so it is in group 2 so be on the first frame so let me close this and open group 2 particle look come to this particle rotation add a keyframe for this y rotation move to the last frame now let me change this to this 3 so now if i play this you can see we got both circle and logo rotating in reverse directions so finally if you want to add depth of field we can do that so for that select this camera layer let me enable that camera layer first so come to this camera options and add depth of field enable it so now let me increase the aperture first so i will increase the aperture to 100 first let me change this to quarter resolution and let me play with the value of this 1600 and now if i play this we can see we got this depth of field also 
So finally, select the element layer, come to the render settings, come to the render settings, ambient occlusion, enable ambient occlusion and intensity I will change this to 10. So that we will get nice ambient added into the scene or else let me increase this to 12 and the samples let me increase this to 32. So now finally here you can see we got our animation done. So in this way we can create this kind of cool animations in Adobe After Effects using Element 3D plugin easily. So hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. If you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me. So we will meet in the next video until then signing off. Take care. Bye.